the suspension. It makes it where it actually locks the bolt in place and it's going to make it where if we have to take the bolt out like the track, we don't mess up with the, the alignment on either the toe or any of the plates. What's up? What's up, dude? Oh, there he is, Folsberg. Yeah. I had the chains, brother. He was doing the whole time. Yeah, he was yeah. doing that thing he does where he hides down the street. And then he saw me pull the pallet up. Yeah. And he's like, oh, whoa! I heard the camera turn on. I felt the glow of the light. <laughs> this is my moment. <laughs> Got a fresh motor um, coming on in. So we're just getting unwrapped. Can I start? Um, you can start, start dude. cutting, yeah. dude. He's, the camera's running, dude. You can do whatever you want now. Oh, well. we're waiting for it. Ray, <laughs> fresh motor for the year. Um, that's the one we just took out of the car and we stripped it down. We did the uh, compression test on the two motors. This one was reading lower. Uh, and I'm actually going to go back through the build notes because I do believe that we were trying different um, style Jeez. pistons as well um, between the three motors. And it's probably mostly to do with this one being the lowest compression just out of the box, not just like it's hurt because it was across the board. Yeah. Um, in which case we want to send that one back for the rebuild because this one was reading what, 95s, yeah. 97s, and that one was reading 120s. 120s, yep. So yeah, 30% more, not 30% more, 30 more PSI, that's what? So that's 30%. That's pretty close. Yeah, exactly. yeah. you, you went to college. What? It wasn't that kind of college. <laughs> <laughs> I went to math college. Yeah. <laughs> I had technical math where they tell you how to add up quarks until you know how much oil you put in the truck. Ah. Uh, that's that's it. I'm serious, actually. <laughs> so that one was generating three quarters the compression of that motor. <laughs> that's what we're saying. Because we we're trying a bunch of different pistons with uh, CP. This uh, is the latest, greatest Fab Mamma Jamma. So. Got the Mad Sweden dry sump billet covers on it, which is cool versus the stock ones. It eliminates the PCB system uh, since we run that daily dry sump pan. And yeah, the only thing we got to pull off of that is the knock sensors. Yep. Uh, Those are our, little, little late. our little cam guys. <clears throat> The little cam sensors. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pop those out, swap those across. Yep. And then, yeah, and then everything else is on the shelf. So, yeah, everything is still rocking and rolling. Cargo yeah. person. <laughs> the other cool thing that we have are these pieces. Ugh. These guys we picked up, they're dirty, gross. Um, they cleaned off. But what this does, it actually, uh, I'll explain that later. Yeah, clean it. <laughs> While we're putting it on, yeah. we'll explain yeah, yeah. I gotta clean it later. What this yeah, actually they, does, they you replace, know it later. <laughs> they replace these because when you build these motors, sometimes the um, when you deck the heads and, and clean them up, um, the, the difference between here, it's actually easier to see on this one. The difference from where the, the cam is located, right, versus the front cover, because you can see the cam is bolted to the head, the head's bolted to the block. Uh, the cam cover, uh, or I'm sorry, the front cover is one piece, right? And these are two pieces. So this actually gets off center in this hole. And then the seal that controls the, uh, the, the variable valves actually gets a little off, and then with brakes, then you don't have control of it. And then the car is just like rattling and clacking and making a whole bunch of racket. Um, and we were actually like starting to crack those a bunch um, and our last failure was at Long Beach, so we would had it, to wait, run. Would it, would it crack the whole case? It crack no, the whole... no, 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 it just, it cracks that little plastic ring, the little plastic seal. Oh, yeah, okay. And so when we had to run Matt Field in top 32 last year, we had no mid-range torque because these were deactivated. Mm -hmm. We had to unplug them and run without it and just whip on the clutch a little bit harder, which makes the car just a little bit lazier, uh, especially perfect timing. It's not like it's a practice run, it's top right. 32 against Matt Field. So it's uh, like a final style battle right out of the gate. And so you need you know, the car to work 100%. Yeah, 100% so. Yeah. so that was annoying, uh, but we got those pieces um, and that seems to have fixed it. We haven't had an issue all year. So yeah, they're cool. they have a across. cool alignment feature. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we'll put it together. Yeah, it's like one of my favorite things when I trust the other motor. Oh yeah? Like, yeah, like the part that centers up on the cam. Obviously we'll show him when we do it, but. Well, it's his favorite, so I'll let him do it. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back on break. <laughs> Here, dude, we get you a uh, compression cleaned off, low bolts on the bottom, NOS Energy Drink Rolly Stand. Wait, what type of energy that. drink? NOS Energy Drink Rolly wow. Stand. It's even height adjustable, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Steps ahead. No, that's what you gotta do though. Yeah. That's what you gotta do.
We have this subframe that does that if you wanted to. Anyways, whatever. We have this new <laughs> MA Motorsport subframe ready to go in. We had a, uh, we mocked up our arms and stuff to get our bolt lengths so we could match everything. Make it easier to make like all the bolts on the subframe all the same length and the same uh, head size and nut size. Make it a little easier to work on. So we mocked up all that earlier. Now we're gonna throw it in and actually do a final assembly on it. And uh, then we're gonna get this new winter's quick change in it in a little while, Chris gets here too. Going back in, we're no longer taking out, which is a really good feeling. <laughs> I'll just for moral support. Yeah, dude, me. I got it. <laughs> Honestly, I thought that subframe would be way heavier than just like one person yeah. carrying it. They're not too bad. It's not too bad when they're bare. Yeah, but, uh, that's a good idea. Steal it, paint the inside of the Lexan window. It's gotta look professional. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I didn't even know that you guys usually spray the Lexan to make it look OEM. Hey, anything that makes it look that much better, right? Hey. Uh, I don't want to be the guy. That's why before you even say it. <laughs> oh. 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 Which this shirt is now available on ChopForceBirdRacing.com. Oh, Dave was blurry right when you did that. Uh, but I'm not gonna edit that out. <laughs> Who's in charge of the blur? I know, dude, it's, it's, You know what's messed up? It's not me. Because we made such a cool shirt that I don't want to wear it to work because I don't want to mess it up. That's great. You I know. You shouldn't do that. That's it. That's her. Wait. That's, okay. Wait, I only got one fork. That's fine. I okay. just want it close, so it's uh, not hitting people in the head. Yeah. Watch your fingies. Fingies are out of the pinch points. Lifting. Lifting. <clears throat> do you want to do? Do you want to look the metal rack off the pallet with you, right? Or do we want to lose the metal rack on and let the motor? No, you want to just. Uh, we went to the front last time, remember? Because it's going to be too front heavy. We crisscrossed it. Mm -hmm. We can do that. Hey, lower it. put it all the way up there. <laughs> I was going to say, lower this freaking motor. <laughs> no, put it in like that. It's dangerous. Extreme <laughs> motor swap! <laughs> we need some up. A little bit. You what? Need a little bit of up pretty soon. Close to the rack. Good time to say Cam is back in the video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cam, yeah. Cam, yeah. Cam Z. Yeah. Cam Z. Hello. Oh. Hey. Oh, just talking something. Hello. Oh yeah, we're up. No, here. Go. we're good. Go ahead. We're good. A few more things to button. We've been doing like a bunch of cool little upgrades, um, which is why it's taking a little longer than we uh, expected. We were gonna go testing tomorrow, but I also think it's kind of better to get more use of everybody here in the shop doing all the things we want to do instead of just like slamming it together and getting it out to the track pumped on it still waiting on our freaking turbos too so we got new turbos coming big uh, ones big ones yeah big ones big ones. ones big turbos on big turbos going in button the rest of it up turbos on front end oh open. it's standing there. Dump them out. You have a hunger problem. There you go. Yeah, you do have an anger problem. Or you said a hunger problem. I never know what this guy's talking about. Joe Biden or Joe Biden? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, every time he says Joe Jal Berrian, it sounds like he's saying Joe Biden. Go ahead, say, say it again. Say Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Say Jal Berrian. Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Today, <laughs> this one doesn't run, so I had to get a little creative with loading her up. So, we're taking the Infinity over to Rap Legends today. We're getting a new Rap 
for 2024. Uh, that's coming soon. We still haven't had a chance to line up with the linkies to you guys to get this thing fired up. It's not a huge rush. We're trying to be ahead of the game for once and not actually be doing things last minute and having to fire up to run tomorrow. So um, they've been out of town. They've been having their off season. Uh, well, it's actually not their off season. They run fiscal. So this is the end of their season. Actually, they kick back off in April. So it's uh, not a high priority. I don't want to burn up favors on the Infinity, right? Um, so they were also taking the pro car, right Jackson? Right! Uh, taking a pro car over to get it dyno tuned. It's running, it's good, it's all together. Uh, we want to get on the dyno before we go testing. So, but on the way, Rap Legends is like right across the street. I want to drop that car off, get that one going, get this one on the dyno, get some poles, get some numbers, see what this new setup can do. Bose will be going testing on Friday. All things go well, we're going to be testing on Friday. So that's two days from now. I should say, because these days don't matter to you. You don't know what day it is. Um, <laughs> it's true. Yeah. We're going man. testing on Tuesday. <laughs> if those kids could read, they'd be pissed. Yeah. Wow. It's a fact. I'm not saying you don't know how to read a calendar. Jackson's saying so that. They don't know what day it is today. They also, Today's, don't, they also don't know what day it is today. Today's Wednesday. Yeah. It's Wednesday. I'm trying to go testing Friday. Dropping the car off Rap Legend. Jackson's checking the power steering. It's leaking. It's leaking? It's We're leaking. off to a good start. All right, good enough. <laughs> Drop her down. <laughs> Put her in the trailer. I'm gonna take this gross glove off. What is it? Oh, gross. That was gross. That was ready? <laughs> Don't work for me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know why you guys don't let me see this thing every time. Helmet, helmet. Flare. First time this car's done that, a little while. So much smaller. I know, it's always funny how. I know. They shrink when they get lower, it doesn't make any sense. Huh? Just talking to them, Jackson. Oh, I'm not talking I don't to like you. those guys anyways. Wow. I just get it. Oh, wow. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, see? I like you guys. Like you guys. I so love his you guys. Instagram is at <laughs> You can tell them all you want for that. I what type said, of moon? I don't like you guys. I love you guys. He's he's just flipping it because he's not talking to you guys, he's talking to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> So much easier to get out. All right, we're making a quick pit stop on the way um, to Rap Legends to get the Infinity dropped off and a fresh look on her. I'm trying to figure out which way we should go in because I got my big trailer. Get the Infinity dropped off and get a fresh wrap on that one. It's gonna look sweet. Get it back. Get Link hooked in on it. Get it fired up. But uh, yeah, then we're gonna take the. FD car over to, so it's D Sport. They have um, one of the best dynos in SoCal, I'd say. It's very consistent. A lot of the other drivers use it. We've used it multiple times. So we got a lot of record um, on there we can compare to, like old race cars, old setups, uh, the Altimos run on there, things like that. So we can uh, overlay some graphs and see how it all looks. But uh, yeah, we'll throw this thing right about here. Well, welcome to Rap. Leg, whatever, rap leg ends. Rap Legis deeds. <laughs> What's up guys? Are we gonna be better this time? I'll try my best, I promise. Do you remember the last time you were on Forsberg's YouTube channel? Which hasn't been posted yet by the time A you're A long watching. time, but I wasn't really talking that much. It was more Will than me. So now it's more me than Will. <laughs> um, where, do you, where do you want this very large non-running automobile? Well, since it's not raining anymore, I'll just keep this one outside for now. 
Yeah, get I'll the Porsche push out. It, push it right here. Get the Porsche out. We'll put the M in. <sighs> no, don't worry. Bella's got it. Oh, wait, it has to go on the other side. Oh. It's not even a joke. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, like, I thought Will was out here. Oh. Damn. Wow. He's not even kidding. <laughs> you serious? He watched me line the whole thing up and everything? <laughs> yeah. Alright, come my way along with you guys. Uh, now this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brady helped you guys out though. Round two, on to the dyno. Oh yeah, round two, back in the Dodge. Uh, the old screaming eagle. <laughs> and head to the dyno. drift car since we don't have like a big old slick and we're making a lot of power you have to get tricky with how you load them on the dyno because you'll just get a lot of wheel spin so we actually do have to run them real low on pressure and we found out that uh, you would think that having on the back side of the roller would be better for traction but every time we put it on the front side we actually can get the load and it drives into the roller versus trying to come up off of it so you'll get more wheel spin when you get into like thousand horsepower range on the back side. All good. But yeah, we're just, uh, it's all warmed up and sounds pretty uh, poppy. Sounds great. Yeah. Yeah, so we're we'll just uh, yeah. kind of waiting for the queue now. I don't want to go too much further with it. The disc fit works. Great. I was really curious about what was happening in there before. Fucking <laughs> just oh. in there, just like, <laughs> <laughs> just let me, let me out. <laughs> so, wait, how much power did you make last time? Um, I think it was like right at a thousand, like maybe nine. I think I think we only did like 930 with this car on this dyno. But we turned it up after that. <laughs> but we didn't have it on the dyno since. We got a half point of compression on our side too. Whole point. Whole point. Whole point. Oh, it's a whole point. Yeah. All right, we'll party you, dude. Mm -hmm. John better get us in the four digit club for at least one pass. <laughs> oh no, we'll, we'll do that just because I want to see what where what it needs to get to that. Well, basically, we'll we'll eventually land on where we like landed at the end of last year, which should be like just over a thousand, because we turned it up like Sorry, up solid like a hundred or so during the year. I think Utah, you were like, yeah, we're like, hey, we're like, hey, John, try and be mean to this thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we understand if we shove another couple psi in there. <laughs> Something with the dyno, it's certainly not our car, it's certainly yeah. the dyno's fault. That's what it is. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what it always is. John was asking to check the, the calibration on it, because they just got new software on it, so this thing just kind of got um, uh, retuned up. And he's like, yeah, we're pumping like some good boost into it, and it's reading like so, not even 700. Sorry. Yeah, no, go um, for it. Yeah, we could log boost if you want, so yeah. maybe there's like something uh, no, I mean he's he's reading it there. Uh -huh. uh, I don't think 
log and boost through this would change the, the power out. No, 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 it won't change that, yeah. but maybe like... Because, yeah, I mean, it's it, it sounds, it's it's sounds, like, it sounds like a lot. Yeah. And he's telling me that we're in like that 900 range and we're reading like 680. Yeah, no, I saw, I saw yeah. it. Like, the numbers are... I mean, it's like you guys are saying, that's really loud and really aggressive to be uh, 640 horsepower. Uh, yeah, top speed was 180, so. changes on the setup from last year to this year is we went from nine to one to ten to one so we have more compression which is going to wake everything up faster and then also we went from the g3770 turbo to a g3660 so it has a slightly smaller compressor side uh we've, we've found the breaking point of it we're basically rolling uh, a pretty low back pressure rate we have our back pressure sensor right here which reads how much pressure is in the manifold pushing against the turbo and right when we went from that like 30 to 32 psi, the the rate of increase between uh, boost on the you know cold side versus the hot side was rolling together, and right at that end it kind of like started to you know climb, which means we're basically starting to max out the turbo. We're pushing more exhaust into it than we're getting out in the compressor side, so we're topping it off, which is not a bad thing. It's um, just saying that that's you can't really go too much further, but running it at that limit would be fine. We're pushing about. Uh, a 1.37 ratio back pressure to uh, cold side, which is perfectly fine. Uh, we've gotten almost two to one on some setups. That's way too high. You want to be around 1.5. All right, and then we'll see you in the next video. Yeah, and then we're gonna see you next time. We're going what drifting? We're going drifting next. Yeah, I think yeah. We're going yeah. Drifting next. <laughs> you look Probably at gonna me. load this car up in the trailer first, then go drifting. Yeah.